Lesson 17, Part 3a, Reflexive Pronouns. Emao tu, seao tu, and heao tu are reflexive pronouns. They are used to point back to the subject of the sentence. Since they point back to the subject, they are never the subject or predicate nominative and therefore have no nominative form which is why they were introduced in the genitive because the genitive is the first form that we have. MO2 is first person. It means myself or ourselves. SEO2 is second person. It means yourself or yourselves. HEO2 is third person. It means himself, herself, itself, or themselves. They are all declined just like AUTAS, just with the extra prefix and no nominative forms. Unlike other first and second person pronouns, MAU2 and SEAU2 also have gender, which HEAU2 also does, but we're used to seeing that in third, in third person. But they also don't have neuter forms since they're only ever used to talk about people. You would never use these to talk to an object or, you know, an object isn't going to be talking, referring back to itself. That just doesn't happen. So we only need these in first and second person for feminine or, and masculine because they're never going to talk about objects. Now, the plurals are weird because the plurals for all three pronouns are the same. We'll see that in just a second. You can tell which person is referred to by looking at the subject. So if you've got something that's in the plural and you're like, oh, no, I don't know which form this is. I know it's plural, but is it first, second or third person? I don't know. Well, look at the subject. A reflexive pronoun points back to the subject. So whatever the subject is, that's the person that this uh, reflexive pronoun will be. So here is the chart of all of them so that we can sort of make some comparison and some contrast and figure out what's going on. First off, let's notice how it looks like autos. So we've got autu, auto, autan, autes, aute, autain. No neuters though. Autu, auto, autan, autes, aute, autain. Yay, looks exactly the same. Autu, auto, autan, autes, aute, autain. Autu, auto, auta. Looks exactly like autos. Same with all these plurals over here, but I'm not going to read them all for you. Then we've got the little bit at the beginning. We've got M, which if you think back to ego, emu, emoi, emos, we're used to seeing M at the beginning of first person, sing first person singular pronouns. And that's exactly what we have going on here. We also saw it with emas just a bit ago with that um, adjective that means my or our. So that can help us remember that. We're used to seeing su and su and soy and se for second person singulars. And here we have exactly the same thing going on. We got a sigma at the beginning. We do have an epsilon instead of an omicron, uh, but we can just, we can work with that. Then these ones down here, they have a rough breathing and then an epsilon. So rough breathing on an epsilon, that's what begins these ones, which I just find that as, you know, it's sort of the cross between these. We grab out the epsilon. We didn't know what, what consonant to put. So instead of putting a consonant, we put a rough breathing. Yeah, it works. All right. Not too crazy for any of that. Let's look at the plurals now. You will notice out, hey, out tone, hey, out tone, and hey, out tone. You'll notice hey, out toys, and hey, out toys, and hey, out toys, hey, out toys, hey, out toys, and hey, out toys. They are all exactly the same. And as I was mentioning earlier, if you see, for example, the form hey, out toys. This could be first person feminine plural, second person feminine plural, or third person feminine plural. You don't know. If you were going to parse one of these, you would need to say that it's all of them. But when you're looking at the context of the sentence, it will be very easy to see, as we'll note in just a minute when we start to look at some sentences. So these are the various forms. So what you're going to need to really watch out for is if you're asked to decline either the first person or second person, watch out for those plurals, switch it into the haze. Um, hey, out tone, hey, out toys, hey, out twos. Watch out for those there. Oops. Those ones right there have the wrong breathing on them. Those should also be rough breathings, uh, just a little slip of the keyboard there. 
All right, so let's look at some examples. Blebo emautan. I am seeing myself. Emautan is the direct object and it's pointing back to the subject. Now, if you tried to say in English, I am seeing me, that would be grammatically incorrect because me has already been mentioned in the sentence in the form of I in the nominative form. So we say, I am seeing myself. It's reflection. The action is reflecting back to the person who's doing the action. Now, we're going to look at reciprocal pro the reciprocal pronoun very soon, and students tend to get a little confused once they add in the reciprocal pronoun of what the difference is. Reflect pronouns reflect the action back to the subject. Whoever is doing the action, the, it's like the action goes out from them, turns around and comes right back because they're also the direct object or occasionally they're the, you know, they're the genitive or they're the dative. Uh, direct object is the most common way to see these. Now do note, this is not the middle, middle voice. That would be, I am seeing for myself, which is a, a slight difference of meaning there. Blepes seautan, you are seeing yourself. Blepe heautain, she is seeing herself. Now, if we just had blepe, we wouldn't know if it was he is seeing him, he is seeing, or she is seeing, or it is seeing. So we would normally put a he right here, but now we know that it has to be she because the reflexive pronoun has gender. So we know that this has to be a she. Little extra information contained up here we actually know that the person speaking in this sentence is a man because it's hemautan and it's not hemautain. Now, I, as a woman, if I were to say this sentence, I would have to say blepo hemautain because I am a female, so I need to use the feminine one to refer to myself. We're not really used to that with I's and U's in Greek, but it does matter here. We can also tell that this you that this person is speaking to is a man because this is the masculine form used here. Not necessarily life-shattering information, but it can be helpful to know occasionally in scripture that can give you just a little bit of a clue that you may not have had before. All right, now we're looking at some plurals. Oop, that should be a rough breathing right there. Heautus. All right, that could be first person masculine plural, non, masculine plural accusative, second person masculine plural accusative, or a third person masculine plural accusative. How do we know which one it is? Okay, let's look at what the subject is. We have amen. So this is a first person plural. It's we are seeing. So this has to mean ourselves because it wouldn't make any sense to see we are seeing themselves. We can say we are seeing them, but we can't have something reflexive to somebody else that doesn't work. So it has to be we are seeing ourselves. Blepete heautus. Again, we don't know which one it is, but let's let's look at our subject. Blepete, that's going to be second person plural. So ye are seeing. So we're going to use yourselves because that's what makes sense. It wouldn't make sense to say ye are seeing ourselves or ye are seeing themselves. It doesn't work because that's not reflexive. You can only use reflexive pronouns reflexively referring back to the subject. So that's how we're going to use that one here. Then we've got the same thing with the third person plural, blepusi is third person plural, so they are seeing themselves. So you can see it's not nearly as tricky as it sounds. Just look at what the subject is, make it match the subject, and you are good to go. So summary, emautu, seautu, and heautu are unusual because they are declined like autos, they have gender, and they don't have nominative forms. Emautu, seautu, and heautu are reflexive pronouns.